Hello, my name is Anya, and today we are going to use a plugin to automatically translate text on our app and create a multi language application in under five minutes. So here I have a page, and it's set up to have some headers, text over here, and then also a repeating group where I can type something into the input, like flowers, click send, and we can see that appear in the repeating group, just so that we can test how this plugin works with some more dynamic values. And like I previously mentioned, we are going to be using a plugin to achieve this, because it's just so much easier than setting up an API call for now, it's a very instant solution. So we're going to use the Weglot Translate plugin. And you can just go to this page over here and you'll have to copy paste this into your browser, create an account. And now you'll join me at this step. So I'm going to start by creating a project. I'm going to name it Zero to One Bubble, which is the name of my completely free Zero to One Bubble course for beginners. Check it out at HTTP tps colon slash zero to one bit.ly slash zero to one bubble or at the link in the description below and then i'm going to choose the website technology which is just going to be bubble and then i can click next so i need to start by choosing a language so currently everything on my application is in english but i want to translate it to Spanish because it's a little easy to visually see as it's using the same Greek letters. Ancient Greek letters. You can choose as many languages as you want if you are on a paid plan, but right now I'm just on a free one, so they're going to limit me to one. And then I'm going to click next. And we are given an API key, so I'm going to copy that and then go to my bubble editor where I have to click on install plugins, it's actually an API, and then I'm just going to search up Weglot. And we can see it over here, make sure you install the official one, and click done. If you go down to our plugins tab, we can see it over here, and we just need to paste our API key into this Weglot API key field. And that's it. I'm going to open my application. And we can see down here there is a little drop down, and we can switch between languages. So, Espanol is Spanish in Spanish, and I can switch to it. But first, let's just go back here, switch to Spanish, and then we can just finish this off. So I want to show you what we can do next and then also point out some shortcomings. So if I click on this project over here, we can see that it's automatically translated a lot of things on our application. So here it was hello and welcome. And we can see that it's translated to hola and bienvenida, which is actually correct. If I were fluent in Spanish and I noticed that this is actually incorrect, I could go ahead and automatically change it from here like let's say this is inspect or slow lento and i actually wanted to say despacio which is a synonym i can go ahead and change that over here and this way i can go through my application and some of the more important things that don't change for example headers page names etc i can go ahead and make sure that they're actually correct you can see how in less than five minutes, we were able to completely translate our application. And if we had a paid plan, it's not sponsored by the way, we would be able to do that with multiple languages. I'm gonna switch this back to English. Actually, let's keep it on Spanish. I wanna point out some shortcomings. Firstly, over here, when I want to post something, add something to the repeating group, I can type something in. I'm just going to type it in English, which is actually fine because if I wanted to type it in Spanish, I just would, and that would be the solution. But then when I send it, we can see that it's not automatically translated. It's still in English. If I were to reload, however, we can see that it does 
get translated. So that's just pointing out some of the shortcomings when the information is constantly changing and it's more dynamic. And there are some more permanent solutions you would want to look into. But for now, with things like headers, and subtitles and text that doesn't change, this is a great option to create, instantly create a multilingual app. So thank you and I hope this was helpful.